Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome back to Art of Awakening. My name is Ona, and today we're going to be talking about grounding. Now, lately I've had a few comments of just saying, oh, you know, I love how grounded you are. And every time I get one of those comments, I kind of laugh to myself because I'm really not a natively grounded person. It's something that I have worked really diligently at for years. And so I thought, well, why not make a video on that? Because grounding is such an important thing for spiritually awakening people, for creative people, for star seeds of any kind. So if that's you, and if you've been wondering, how do I ground myself spiritually? This video is for you. So let's start with the, the big question, what does it actually mean to be grounded? And to me, grounding just means to be fully in your body, to be comfortable as an embodied being in this world and fully integrated into the natural world, right? And, and spiritually, that what that does is it anchors us to earth. We can work on it at the spiritual level, at the mental level, at the emotional level, and at the actual physical level, and especially that whole body-mind continuum. When we work on one, we're working on it all. Okay, so why do we want to ground? What are the benefits of grounding? It, physically, when we're grounded, we're really connected in with nature. We're connected to the earth. And what that does is it allows your body to relax and to heal. Okay, um, it, it helps your body to just feel comfortable in its own skin. And again, for healing, this is really, really great. <laughs> Mentally, for the mental body, also it helps the mental body relax, right? And it also helps us to focus, right? Because if we are way up here in the ethers, in the airs, air, right? It's, there's not a whole lot to anchor in. So when we're grounded, when we ground ourselves, it gives us a kind of an anchor point or a focal point, And that really helps us to master the mind. Also, it really helps to alleviate anxiety and overwhelm. So that kind of starts connecting into the emotional body. If you're you know, working on grounding practices, it helps you to alleviate any kind of emotional swings back and forth. And also it helps you to be able to control your emotions, right? As empaths, right? We're all emotionally attuned to everybody else. Um, but if you're well grounded, it's, it's easier for you to maintain your own emotions, right? Rather than being swayed by somebody else's emotional field, we can kind of hold ground <laughs> and hold stable. That's why it's, it's, that's why when we have a really grounded person, it feels so good to be around them, right? Because it's not, pulling us one way or the other emotionally. And then spiritually, grounding is super essential for spiritual mastery because it, again, it provides that anchoring point. And so that you can be fully connected above and below, right? It gives us that ability to bridge heaven and earth, right? When we're grounded, it gives you something quote unquote, something to stand on, right? Um, energetically. And the further you take your spiritual practice, the more important this is going to be, right? Because one of the things it does is to help you to stand your ground against illusion or any kind of negative entities that might be trying to influence you or trying to enter your field. Okay, so grounding also allows for manifesting your spiritual energies into physical reality. So if you're trying to do any kind of manifestation work or law of attraction work or anything like that, um, this is really going to stand you in good stead. You need to be grounded for that kind of work. And that includes financial abundance and financial manifesting. If you're not real grounded or if you're spending a lot of time in the ethers, it's really hard to do that manifesting work. So if you're a really super highly spiritual person, um, you're going to need to ground themselves yourself a lot, right? Really highly creative people too, right? Because as creative people, as artists, as musicians, as, um, you know, even uh, social leaders might be really creative or entrepreneurs can be super creative people, right? That imagination that you have that serves you so well as a creative person also can be kind of unbalancing or ungrounding. So you need to come back to earth in order to you know, get your creative works actually done and brought to completion or to, you know, if you're an entrepreneur, having these wonderful business ideas, but actually, you know, manifesting them, actually implementing them and, 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 and making it happen. 
Okay, so that, that grounding is really important if you're creative. And also if you've experienced any kind of trauma, if you're recovering from trauma, and this could be a, a, an acute trauma, like a one-time thing, maybe you were in a car accident, or an ongoing trauma, if you've been in a very challenging relationship for a long time, or really stressful job for a long time, okay, any kind of trauma recovery is going to be really, really helped out by grounding practices, right? Because it, it, what trauma does is it, it kind of kicks you out of your body. <laughs> and and it's, it's, it's a defensive response, right, of, of the mind. But grounding can really help you bring back into your body and um, really helps that healing process of reconnecting. Um, my cell phone just kind of died, so I'm going to continue this here. And then finally... Here's my top tip for grounding. Which is one that I've really wasn't really working with until just a few days ago, which is why I thought about this video. So I'm really, really excited about this potential for grounding. It is rhythm and bringing more rhythm into your life, aligning, especially aligning your life and the cycles of your life with the cycles of nature, okay? Um, so one way to bring more rhythm and to, to, to bring rhythm into your life is through the breath. Uh, a lot of the meditation work will use the breath, but being mindful of the breath um, can, can really assist us in grounding, bringing the air deep into the body. Um, another one is one I'm personally working on right now is the sleep cycle, right? And regulating, not just getting enough sleep, but getting really regular sleep, which means going to bed at the same time every night and waking up at the same time every night. I have been completely astounded. Like I've been, you know, over the past few years, really working on making sure I get enough sleep. Um, but I found that once I started making sure that that sleep was regular, it has been a world of difference in terms of my ability to focus, my ability to um, get things done, to follow through with things. And also what I have found is that it has really, without even thinking about it, been curbing um, kind of food cravings, right? Just regulating that sleep pattern. It's amazing. So, um, and, and so to me, that's like, that's, these are the, the kind of the basic things. If you can get your sleep rhythm down, then it, it also helps the other rhythms in your life to fall into place, right? So once your sleep rhythm is down, think about, can you start to get a get a rhythm in your day right um what are some routines that you can work into your day are you eating regular meals and are you eating them at the same time i haven't even got there yet <laughs> personally but even just the sleep has been amazing okay um and then finally as part of that rhythm super important if you're a really spiritual person and or a super highly creative person very, very important as part of your rhythm, your daily, weekly, monthly, yearly rhythm to allow yourself time to be ungrounded, right? And we've been talking this whole video about grounding, but recognize that if you are a star seed, right, you are feeling probably very natively comfortable here up in the ethers. And it's super important to honor that and respect it and give yourself time for that as well, right? So the journey work um, meditation, any divination work, if you pull cards for yourself, dreaming, the creative work, you know, your arts, your, your, you know, whatever it is that you feel is bringing something out into the world. These things are what you're here for, right? And so the grounding helps to support that because what can happen is, I, I think there's there there tends to be a part of our mind, and and this is usually picked up from just kind of uh, what we're taught by by you know out in the world, right? That um, dreaming's a waste of time, or it keeps you ungrounded, so that it's not practical. And you know you should be doing something more practical. You should be doing this or that or the other, or you should do that first before you allow yourself to do your creative work. All these little things, right, that the ego tells us to do, um, and it's trying to help us be grounded, right? So, but we have to also recognize that the grounding really supports the work that comes out of this 
<laughs> this ether connection that we have, right? So if you can somehow recognize and honor that in the taking command and taking control of your rhythms, you you want to make sure that you honor and really protect the time, you know, set aside time specifically for your connection work, right? Um, this is why having a consistent spiritual practice is so important. And I think all the 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 great traditions will tell you that you know they'll they'll specify what practices, but you can come up with whatever spiritual practice works for you. But if you can do it on a daily basis and preferably the same time of day, um, can can really really help in it. That helps to kind of take that real strong etheric connection and bring it in to your life in a way that is grounded and is connected with the, the the cycles of time, right? And and that helps to keep everything integrated so we can be healthy, happy, and strong in body, mind, and spirit, okay? So this is such an important topic. Every spiritual person needs to know how to ground themselves and why. And so if you agree, then there are three things that you can do that I'm going to ask you to do right now to help your fellow star seeds to stay nice and connected with their bodies and their earth. One is to like this video. It, it will trigger the YouTube algorithm to show up for more people. And then another is to share on your social networks or the, with friends if there's anybody specifically that you think this could be helpful for. And then the third is to let us all know how do you stay grounded, right? What are your best tips for star seeds? So you can help the next person who watches this video by sharing in the comments below. Just type in your best tip for grounding and remember you were born to be free.